Okay, now in my last video attempt, the audio went out and I couldn't explain how to use Screenlit in detail. Now that I have the Screenlit opened up over here, you go to, you scroll down to you find Folder View. Highlight it, hit the Start, Stop right there. Now a Folder View is going to come up. Now we're going to expand it. Go anywhere in the gray area. Go to size. I'm using a netbook with a graphic card of 124 by 600. So I can't run Windows 8, the actual Windows 8 on here because the apps won't open. Go to 300. But I can sure them make Linux, Zorin or Ubuntu or Mint or any other Debian based variant system look like Windows 8 with the graphic card that I'm using. Now you go to properties. Now the roles I have too many roles so I go to option you don't have any installable themes what you see is what you get. So this is what I do. I go over here and I no actually I go to scroll without scroller. I adjust this make it a column of four backspace and this backspace and make that a two. Then I go to without without scroller make this backspace and make that into a four. Then I go to look where it says look. The only things you really gotta mess with is this your folder view size. Usually I adjust it until I start to see that the the letters are above the taskbar to a comfortable view. Okay, I say by forty one is good. Yeah that'll do. Ah forty now usually I can backspace these to zero you'll see that the corners will start getting sharper instead of round and these two on the bottom you don't mess with and there you have it now to keep this from moving because because sometimes you'll accidentally might move it you right click on here you go to window and lock now it's locked into place. Now you notice it says start Unix 8. When you're installing Zorin or any Linux distribution of Debian, you want to name it instead of giving it a typical name like owner, name it start Unix PC. You can put anything over here and it'll come up when you install your, your apps. Now, speaking of apps, I'm going to go Control Alt. Ah, uh, stupid thing. That's okay. Control Alt and left click. Now, speaking of apps, I am gonna take. Um, let's see. Let's see. I'll take a game, uh, some stupid game or something like that. Something retarded. All right. I'll go to Office, Libre Office Writer. I'm going to right click on it and create a desktop shortcut. Now it's not ex excusable yet. I'm going to open up the folder view and go to home folder. I'm already in home folder. Drag it in here. Now I right click on it, go to properties, go to permissions and make it excusable and now you see it takes on the exact form. Now X out of here, control alt and left click. I'm in fallback mode on instead of using 3D graphics. Now I hit that app right there, one left click. You only click once when you're in this menu view, this folder view, and it comes up. Now I gotta wait a hundred years until this thing. That's okay. Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Well, not all the apps will work the same. 
my ingest speaker works pretty fine. But you get the you get the idea. So I go back over here. Now you want to make this taskbar look more like a Windows taskbar. You just simply go to Doc Preferences. Come on. Then you want to go to Themes. No, actually, you take off Lucid. You put a flat panel, flat panel mode. Then you go to Themes. You go to um, Customize. Actually, back to Themes. Ah, uh, ah, fungal. You know what? Go back into the preference. I screwed up. You know, nothing comes easy in life. I would choose, I say, like this smoked version right here. Perfect. Apply. Now you're gonna go to stretch it. Go to customize. And um, actually go to panel expand. That's pretty much it right there. You can actually change the colors. Go back into advanced. No, themes. You can make this a little bit darker. You can make it all right, 176, 144. You see it became lighter. Then you go over here, 144. And you can make this a little bit, you know, darker if you want. To give it like a nice, like, Matter of fact, you make it black, then about 144. One, uh, you know, just it's a pain in the ass to tell you to a lot of tweaking, but once you get it, then you got it. Then you X out of here, you're good to go. If I wanted to, you know, match it a little bit more better. All I have to do is just go back in here, drinking a coffee. All right, so we'll just match it so it can be as dark as that. So what you do, go to black, go to black. You can actually see it starting to look. There we go. Now that's more like it. Now just make it a little trans more translucent all right 115 115 you got to fiddle with it yourself to your liking to see how it would come out to tell you the truth everybody's taste is different that's about as good as it's gonna get and it should match the best I can do that's all right for now well, that was one part explaining how to use Screenlit. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Before I go, I almost forgot. Also, auto start on login. Then you cancel out of here. So when you reboot the computer, that then it'll come back up. So now you have Windows 8 apps. Control O. And if you want, you could put a sidebar. We'll do that on the next tutorial because video time is going to run out. Well, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part three.